On her maiden voyage, the Federation starship Enterprise B left space dock. On board was the man who had commanded the ship for nearly 30 years, performing one final duty before retirement. Captain James T. Kirk. His presence on this mission was purely ceremonial. Intercept course and engage at maximum warp. The Enterprise moved within transporter range and beamed the survivors aboard. Among them, Dr. Tolian Solin. The Enterprise was trapped. Someone had to modify the ship's main deflector to fire a resonant burst. Scotty, keep things together till I get back. I always do. Rest to Captain Kirk. Kirk I don't know how much longer I can hold it together. That's it. Let's go. The Enterprise began to break free. The plan had worked. Almost. We're clear. You did it, Kirk! Damage report, Ensign. There's some buckling on the starboard nacelle. We've also got a hold... Bridge to Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk, please, respond. The Enterprise was saved, but at an awful price. Or so it seemed. It would be 78 years before the galaxy learned that the reports of the death of James T. Kirk had been greatly exaggerated. Captain's Log, Stardate 48623.4. We are en route to the Abagosa Science Station in response to a distress call. They have reported an attack by unknown forces. Mr. Data has prepared a briefing in stellar cartography. The station is primarily a solar observatory used for advanced stellar dynamic studies of the Abagosa Sun. There are currently 19 scientists from the Federation Astronomical Survey conducting experiments on board. This station has no strategic value whatsoever. Why would anyone want to attack it? Unknown. Record of Picard. Captain, we're approaching Amargosa Station. Understood. Red alert. Data, conduct a short-range scan of the station to acquire transport coordinates. Aye, sir. 
Oh, actually, hold on there for a second. Yeah, so we have to wait, of course, and introduce the game. Yeah, so, well, hello and welcome to a let's try of a Star Trek Generations. And, uh, well, as you can tell, no doubt, it was a movie tie-in, but not an reenactment of the entire movie. So we have, uh, well, all characters, they are returning, of course, but there will be different locales that have not been featured in the, uh, well, uh, film whatsoever. So, well, I don't want to give you a plot summary because, well, <laughs> it's unnecessary, really, if you're interested about this entire thing. I suppose, uh, please look at the plot summary on the internet movie database or whatever but of course uh, Captain Kirk will also make a reappearance here I believe even though I'm not quite sure to be honest because there's been uh, I'm not quite sure when I last played this game probably around 2002 uh, I believe so it was an eternity but I would like to uh, reconnect with this uh, game here which I never finished as a little lad I suppose right okay so um, this is a first person shooter with a puzzle elements if I do recall correctly and well it uh, was released during the golden era of Star Trek games even though um, whether or not this game actually is one of those golden titles remains to be seen so this is something we'll be discovering together and this was uh, developed and released uh, by Micropose back in 1997. So uh, Micropose, as well as Interplay, uh, both these companies, well, they had the lion's share of the Star Trek game releases back in the day. So this game is very finicky to run, unfortunately. So even with the X-Window and DG Volo 2 and whatever, it's just a hassle here. So instead, I'm using the uh, pre-package courtesy of Biffman, who is uh, one participant of the collection shape, I believe. Uh, I think it's your correct name, yes. But anyhow, I will put a uh, download link in the video description and the only thing I did here was to update the uh, included version of PCM. I think it was a 2019 release that about and the newest one is 2021 or whatever. Also comes with an installation of Windows 95 because this game doesn't run on anything but Windows 9X I believe from what I've read at least. And well of course I have the German version on CD-ROM but what we're playing here is the English version because it wouldn't make any sense otherwise would it dome. Okay so while we investigate in this Nexus thingy uh, at the moment we don't know anything about it of course and uh, the game plays in a uh, free flavor so we have the stellar cartography as you can see here and every single time we move around here we scan something uh, while uh, time progresses and our enemies they will also do their own stuff in the background so we shouldn't be lingering around here and scan all these moons and all these planets which don't serve any purpose really at least when it comes to the storyline then we have the away missions for instance uh, beaming down to the station of course and then we also have a ship to ship combat which will be uh, coming into play here because we'll be fighting some Klingons at the very least Yes, okay, so well, as you can see, we are in stellar cartography. Um, as in the movie, this was one of those major props, and probably one of those um, memorable types, really. Okay, so we have uh, data here, run the controls, we have Picard doing the investigation, and we will be beaming down on these planets and the station with only one crew member at a time. And as is customary in a Star Trek, we will be using a senior officer for the most part because it makes sense. Yes, okay, so we have full sector view, and we can do a short range scan of the station. Of course, it will be relatively important right now, would not be, because otherwise we don't have any transport Short coordinates. Scan of station complete. Yeah, and don't forget to read the little snippets here, because they give us some important information about the area. Of course, after the attack, the observatory is heavily damaged, but there are some life signs, and we have to rescue the entire crew, essentially, and find them as well, for which we have a tricorder, and the something will be investigating pretty soon once we beam down to the station. There also are some shielded portions, apparently. Well, since there's no tutorial, I already played for this just to get used to the controls again. So, well, this will come into play here, I'm sure, right, pretty shortly. And in terms of the options, well, I should probably talk uh, about them here just a tiny bit. So, they are, well, not very <laughs> well, comprehensive, but we can at least redefine most of our controls. And back here we have, uh, well, the basic stuff. So, effects volume, music volume, and we can set difficulty. And because all the games of this era are goddamn crushing hard, we find this on easy, ensign. And the only difference is that we take less damage from enemies and the controls aren't exactly the most to and around so I do believe we should probably uh, keep it on this but every single time uh, we don't like the difficulty I like to off we can just come here and increase this to captain or lieutenant or whatever we want to do subtitles on because it seems to be a good idea yes and we can save it anytime I believe so something else we'll be trying out here presumably Cancel. Yeah, well, and of course we have uh, the Enterprise computer also, yeah, rehearsing, right? Uh, her role to be specific, and I don't think there any, uh, yeah, they ever released any patches for this game here, incidentally. Returning to game. Yeah, well, thanks there. Okay, so then we just get going here because there are lives at stake, and we have to find out what went wrong on the station, right? And this is actually the icon for an energy source present uh, of some capacity. Okay, well then, uh, transport uh, room it is then for Commander Riker, I suppose. Commander Riker to the transporter room. Mm -hmm. So we have no choice, it's pre-selected for us, incidentally. Faint life science, that's what we have our tricorder for, of course. 
I think all the actors came back to rehearse their roles actually. And they did a pretty good job if my memory is not completely faulty. And the uh, German synchronization is also quite well uh, done actually. Yeah, oh, okay, so then we can proceed because everything runs in PCM. These are the loading times, then here regardless, you know, even though the entire thing runs on SSD, but uh, emulation and all that. Mm -hmm. Captain, these blast patterns are consistent with Type 3 disruptions, which narrows it down to Klingons, Romulans, or Breen. Now we will find the perpetrators pretty soon. The attackers may still be on board. Yeah, they are uh, most assuredly still on board and they are actually right around the corner. But as you can see, we have a first person perspective and unfortunately there is no mouse look, only mouse aim, so we just the menu around here and very awkwardly we can also sidestep which I have to do by using a separate, uh, yeah, <laughs> key binding actually. So this is uh, turning around with the arrow keys and they also use the numpad here with the other arrow keys, you know, to move about here and so on and so forth. We can also sidestep, we can also run and jump, this will come in handy later on, I'm sure. But okay, this is our uh, Commander Riker and as you can see, he has a health bar. And there's our high boost spray, there's our uh, phaser. We can also adjust the power output, and the moment is just a little too low because without these Romulans, okay, yeah, I spoiled it already, but then I thought it did certainly go down, but it don't stay down, so we have to increase the power just a tiny bit here. There's our communicator, there's our tricorder, which we can access from, uh, I think it was this screen, as you can see. So we have uh, uh, different zoom levels. Uh, so I do believe, yeah, uh, this is a uh, moving uh, people, uh, Romulans to be specific, and we have some injured uh, civilians we need to uh, locate and beam out of this area, of course, and then we also. Have some, yeah, this is for instance an energy source, I believe, and later on we will also have access to some other features of this uh, tricorder. I know we cannot click here or anything, it doesn't work this way, unfortunately. We can also narrow down the search here, for instance, uh, if you can turn off energy sources if you want to do this. Yeah, okay. Um, anything else? Okay, this is the mission objective. So rescue all injured crew and discover who attacked the station. Well, that's easy peasy here, really. And we can also interact with the world, of course. So we just uh, yeah, walk up to these various objects, for instance, this uh, damage there. Yeah. Yeah, it's damaged, it doesn't work, of course, and we can also take a look see at some of these uh, concerts on the wall. No use wasting time on this. Yeah, but there's no use wasting time, as you just said here, right? Okay, so as you can see, there's a red icon, so there's a, a survivor back here, and I think, yeah, so... <laughs> no ships, Doctor. Yeah, well, of course, but we can open the external airlock here regardless if you want to kill yourself, of course. Yeah, okay, and there's also mouse aim. Uh, I bound it to uh, the right mouse key, so there we go. It's very awkward, but it does work some of the time, but again, yeah, well, it's a little bit clunky, of course, which also why we're playing on instant difficulty, because the shooting in this game, you know, hitting actually any targets is hard enough for already. Okay. Okay, so there we go. It's our first survivor, and I think we should probably talk to these people. What happened here? It was the Romulans. Too many of them. Cloaked war bird. Thanks. I'll get you to our sick bay. Enterprise, it looks like the Romulans are behind us. Yeah, and this is an act of war, of course, because well, the Romulans are the war with the Federation right now. Beam him directly to sick bay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure this will be coming into play later on, I've no idea, it has been so long since I last played the game. But I do remember that we need to keep the station intact, and the last phase of this mission is very difficult, because, well, I will get to this once we indeed arrive at that point, but I will probably use some safe scubbing, because otherwise we will be missing out on a full-up mission, really. Okay, so the green dudes, these are uh, roaming Romulans, we have to stun them, right? Okay, so that means I need to sidestep, because there you go, see him? <laughs> we also have a limited battery capacity on this thing here, and we have no recharges right now, and the Romulan disruptors, they're only uh, set to kill. Kill, right? And we don't want to kill these people, ideally, but stun them. Yeah, there he is. You need to get a good angle on him, of course, without Stop getting... Right there we go. All right, fantastic. <laughs> good thing we avoided some fire, because we only have a limited uh, number of hypo spray charges, of course, right? Okay, so it's really kind of awkward here, but I think we can manage eventually once I get uh, used to controls uh, fully here. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So there is our... Well, you know who he is, right? Are you okay? Can you speak? <sighs> Where am I? Hang on. I'll get you to safety. Oh, he doesn't want to be taken to safety, but he has no choice right now, Enterprise. does he know? I found a survivor. Beam him directly to sick bay. No. I must finish my work. I'm Dr. Tolian Sorry. It's critical that I... Sorry, Doctor. Mm -hmm. And the sound you just heard, that is uh, us discovering a mission critical item. For instance, this uh, thing here, which is a spare part for the, uh, for the, tra yeah, um, was it again? The turbo lift back here, yes. Okay, so you can install this thing right away and it should fix our problems. And what you do here is to walk up to the item in question and click in it from inventory. That to fix it. And there we go, voila. So we can drive up now if you want to do so. After the turbo lift, of course, has arrived. Well, I suppose, uh, <laughs> well, we could try this if we want to. 
I mean, it would be interesting, I suppose. Okay, let's clear out the upper level first. I mean, surely. I think they have some problems with the lighting. Uh, for which we have a spare pot someplace. Do we actually? Well, we have to come up yeah, anyhow, so well, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, there's a door. Also, let's get some survivors. And as you can see, there's the first uh, roaming Romulan here. Of course, they shoot on sight, incidentally, because they wouldn't they? Okay, so well, I suppose there's a plasma fire burning back here. And we also need to stabilize the station in some capacity because the structure integrity is failing right now. Okay, there's our peekaboo. Yeah, there we go, case in point. Yeah, see, they shoot to kill. <laughs> Something wrong with oh. the lighting system. Man. The station's in pretty bad shape. Yeah, and so are we if we keep uh, yeah, getting blasted here, right? Okay, so well, that's why we should be fixing the lighting system, but... Okay, you can better see anything. Next time, bring a flashlight, maybe Commander, just saying, right? No, should be some equipment anyhow for these rescue operations, because I wouldn't Dave. Okay, and as you can see, there's a second item laying on top of him, so if you click on the guy, and if you don't increase the stun setting, you will just get up once we click on here. Okay, there's a Romulan Disruptor, and there's also a Tricord, I believe. At least there should be, right? Maybe it's not feeling one of those. Really? Two? Oh. Ah. Yeah, he should have a Robin and Tricorder that unlocks something else, but apparently we have two uh, bodies laying on top of each other, so it doesn't work, which is strange. Uh, okay, I suppose we can get the Tricorder from someone else, uh, even though... Okay, so well, um, we can also hit F2 and F3 to adjust gamma levels, I believe. I believe it's actually possible, yes. Okay, we also have some um, lockers here on the wall, I believe. Not these ones, but uh, I'm not quite sure. They will contain uh, something of interest, but mostly it's just junk, really. Okay, uh, what's our health status, actually? Well, it's not that terrible because we're playing on answer difficulty. As you can see, the shooting is uh, not uh, <laughs> very precise here, to put it mildly, really. Okay, there's also a bad guy over here someplace, if I can see him. There we go. No, <laughs> he shot the wall, apparently. So there's two guys here, really. But some of the enemies are a little bit tougher than others, I guess. Hold it! Yeah, we shot him a couple of times, but he's... He, what? Hey! Go down already, you fucking Superman! Well, so that wasn't planned, he's certainly right, okay. So, oh, why did I plant it? What? <laughs> what? Okay, so I was unaware that some of these people, they have different uh, health parameters. Okay, so, right, fantastic. So, okay, that, uh, well, I'm <laughs> good thing playing on easy difficulty then, right? Okay, so it's another survivor back here. It's so dark, I simply can't see anything, but maybe it's something to uh, say to us. Out. Hold on. Or maybe only generic stuff, okay, makes sense. Oh, okay. Sick bay, prepare for emergency transport. Ja, yeah, I don't think there's a time limit here necessarily, but we don't want to linger around, why do we? Okay, so we're down to half a phaser capacity. So we can interact with these things, and apparently this one is empty. Ja, yeah, this was also empty, and back here we have, yeah, what's that? A broken piece of equipment. No, a broken piece of equipment, evidently. Okay, so we also have some other junk here on the shelves. I cannot really interact very well with right now, as you can see. I don't think weapons fire, and also I can actually damage anything. That seems to be... Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher could be good, I suppose, and a... Can't see what I'd need this for. Yeah, it's a spare part, the ain't it? Suspension field in here could safely contain almost anything. Could be useful. I'm not sure. Really, I don't remember all the snippets about this game. Also, the first mission, incidentally. Okay, anything else in here? Can't see what I'd need this okay, for. Okay, uh, spare part or whatever that is. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have one more civilian we need to rescue, and also need to get this item here from some place, if I can find, of course. Okay, what's that here? A jacket. Jacket. Okay. Uh, do we need a jacket? Or could be coded here, I suppose. Wow, it's just junk, really. I suppose it's just given here for these type of games. <laughs> okay, there we go. We need that. Mm -hmm. A magnetic justifier. Yeah, okay. This could uh, be used to reverse yeah. a magnetic phase seal. Yeah, he knows that uh, immediately. Him though, he shouldn't, right? He's not the chief engineer. Commander, yeah, there we go. One of the survivors go. broke into a transporter room. He's returned to the station. Who was it? The Elorian, Dr. Soren. He's to be considered dangerous, Picard out. Yeah, I think that happens as a mission trigger when you pick up this, uh, yeah, this thingy here. Help. Help. It was the Romulans. I know. I'm here to help. I'll beam you up. They were talking about a terrible weapon. Yeah, indeed they were. Beam him directly to sick bay. I think they were actually looking for a Soren specifically. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can accomplish on this particular level. I don't think it's the case. Well, so I'm not quite sure why we didn't get the, uh, the, um, tricorder, but I suppose we'll find it downstairs again after we popped off the turbo lift. And some of them are actually in reverse, right? This one, for instance, I believe. Okay, I'm not quite sure why, what we should be doing with the jacket. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> we can just chuck it out of here, I think, right? Okay. Probably a good idea because we only so much inventory space. I think this Romulan should have a tricorder. Yeah, there we go. 
Captain, I found a Romulan tricorder. It's been set to scan for trilithium. Trilithium is dangerously unstable. Why were the Romulans looking for it on a Federation observatory? Let's find out. I'll set my tricorder to scan for it as well. Yeah, there we go. That's just now be unlocked, as you can see. Okay, so he's also the uh, arm with his raptor, of course, so back here. Yeah, we can get through, of this course. This door is locked. Yeah, of course it's locked. Okay, there is this some back here in some capacity, and uh, the last time I tried this, I didn't figure out how to get to them. But we can do this this time around because we need to rescue the survivor, of course, don't we? Okay, let's take a little detail here for no specific reason whatsoever. <laughs> she is a beautiful ship, isn't she? Ja, yeah, eben it's all a pixelated glory here. Okay, we can also uh, heal ourselves with some food here, but the replicator, of course, is not working, working, as you just said, but we have some food here. Hmm. That didn't work very well. Yeah, because you need to <laughs> you put it Someone's here. Someone's dinner? It's been here a while. Ah. Yeah, but it's so delicious, apparently. <laughs> we can also just drink some water. Hopefully it's clean water, yes. Okay. A glass of water. It actually has a different lines for uh, ah. the dishes, but unfortunately I think there's only one dish on the table, yes? And in the perspective it's very screwy. <laughs> if we do this here, which is why it's fixed most of the time, presumably. Okay, so I do believe uh, we should be fully here. There were almost. There's another glass here. I saw that. Man. Okay, you can pick it up with your hands, apparently. <laughs> Ja, das Game ist very clunky, but I suppose it could be fun here regardless. Yeah, we also uh, magically walk on these couches here, whatever, there we go. A glass of water. Yeah, drink it, please. Thank you, Commander. Alright, so we also have some surveillance cameras some of the time, but I'm not quite sure they're actually, yeah. No. In real time or not, I do not know, really. Looks like a fix to me, to be honest. Okay, so we uh, do have this um, yeah, fire extinguisher may could be useful there some of the time, who knows. Okay, so anyone else here waiting for us on the stack? There seems to be a one guy in the middle section, uh, if only we can get an angle on him here. By switching around two sets of arrow keys, very awkwardly. Hello there. Okay, well, uh, unfortunately I was unable to dodge. And someone is still pacing back and forth with some place. I think it's upstairs. Get him. No, it's downstairs, no, there we go, so well, we need to spam this here because otherwise we have some problems, why don't we? Okay, so this is just the uh, bulkhead and we have another panel here that probably tells us nothing. Most of the critical systems are still online. Oh, isn't that lovely, right? Okay, another survivor here and since we can see all these people right now, we shouldn't be too worried about getting shot from our top here, whatever, okay. Sick bay, prepare for emergency transport. Yeah, it's a bit too hot right now. Yeah, I don't think I actually use the fire extinguisher, <laughs> well, at least not right now, but it should be usable in some capacity, I mean, it's a... Fire extinguisher, right? Okay, so uh, I suppose also an item we should be investigating. This is something that could be used for upstairs because it's an illuminator core, whatever they call it. An illuminator core. Yeah, okay, there we go. Which why is an, uh, an energy uh, source, I believe. Locked. Yeah, so we need to get in here in one uh, stage or another, but in one we cannot really. Yeah, the fire extinguisher, fantastic. Uh, don't walk into a uh, sparking electric wiring or these uh, plasma things, of course. Plasma leaks, whatever they call it. Okay, so uh, anything else? I think there is. Yeah, okay, back here we have the Trilithium sources and there's Soren waiting for us, but I suppose we leave this until later because it will be the last portion of the mission. And this one is so difficult, I've never managed to do this. Uh, yeah, I've just already pension fight. Okay, so that's what we need the magnetic thing here for. Yeah, uh, how could we get in here? Yeah, there's other area on the opposite side, I don't fully remember really. Okay, so we also need to get here uh, because there's a survivor, right? It needs to be rescued. Okay, so well, uh, the moment we clear out the rest of the Romulans, and our, um, our face is running a bit low on juice here, right? So we have to resort to these disruptors here after all. Yeah, okay, but unfortunately, <laughs> hopefully I can't get an angle. You there. Shoot him in the back, that's the honorable thing to do, even this also a stun gun, of course. Okay, another one hiding behind the bulkhead, and I think we should take care of the friends first, right? Yeah, we go, fantastic, and now our face is almost out of ammo already. Isn't that lovely, right? Okay, anything else in here? No, it's empty, unfortunately. Well, they probably uh, search this place quite thoroughly. And that's the first of the interactable panels, so what we have to do is to redirect uh, structure integrity here. Mm -hmm. That should stabilize the station. Yeah, there's no tooltip or anything which will come and um, play uh, as soon as we meet Zorin, because now we will be presented with a computer terminal and we have to figure out how to use this thing within 10 seconds while the people are talking over the communicator and then fail to do this every single time, which is why we will be <laughs> probably uh, using a, a safe state there just as a precautionary measure, yes, okay? Now survive uh, There were eight, including Dr. Zorin. Alright, hang on. I'll beam you out. Ja, wir tun es exakt gleich weit. Beam him directly to sick bay. I think all these uh, turbo lifts to the same area. And there's someone else trapped back here. Ja. Oh, um, that looks kind of nasty there. Ja, okay, another uh, generic is a little slow. Hold on. Beam 
team you up. Yeah, he's not. Oh, yeah, he cannot talk, unsurprisingly. Yeah, I'm sorry, friend. Enterprise. We've got a survivor. It's very uncharacteristic of the Romans to leave these people alive, by the way. And yeah, at least take them captive for that. Why they won't just leave them laying on the ground because they're gonna play that, right? Okay, I did see something. What's that here? Useless junk. Okay, well, that answers our question, right? Okay, so I do believe it's all we can do here except to uh, find that other guy. So we need a illuminator core, but uh, well, how do we get in this other passageway? Because there must be some way, right? I mean, so the largest station we've ever seen. So I well, would just continue to embarrass myself there because we need to get survivor. There must be a way in there somehow. I mean, I don't think it's through uh, Soren's uh, secret era here. I don't believe so. <laughs> okay, so where was it again? Yeah, okay, there is Soren, and that's the area we need to uh, infiltrate, quotation mark, because there's a normal in back here. And how do we even get back here? Well, uh, this is obviously not the way to go. This door is locked. Yeah, it's locked, but uh, how can we get around that? I don't that? think this is going to work. I don't think this is yeah, going to work. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. That didn't work very well. Yeah, we have to interact with something here that uh, turns on the power, maybe, uh, or turns off the power, you know, some circuit breaker, override, or whatever. Because otherwise, you can't get in here. I never figured out how to do this, really. So it's a panel. I can't open the door from here. The yeah. panel's shorted out. Okay, but uh, yeah, so well, I need to look around here because well, there aren't too many options at the door. One of those, maybe? Nothing unusual. Oh, uh, I see red blinking. That means, Nothing unusual. That means bad stuff, presumably, I would figure. An illuminator core. Yeah, that would be uh, useful upstairs, but not down below here, I think. No useful information here. Hmm. Wow, and exactly in computer expert are you there, pal? Alright, so it's back here someplace, and while we can jump over here, even though we can technically jump, you know, but it's like... <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous video. Okay, maybe some other item here on the ground. I don't think the Romulans, the carry any mechanical parts at the door. Okay, but uh, this is the power source, I believe. It seems to be operational still. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go, this thing, maybe. I'd better not touch this. Oh, right, but never mind in this case, right? Okay, but is it though? This must be used for the solar observation studies here. Fortunately, it looks like it wasn't damaged in the attack. Okay, but that's good. So, wasn't the power source after all? So, how do we get in here? I don't remember really. No use wasting time on it. Yeah, okay, well, then we just figure this out then because I want to have a 100% completion ratio here. We have to do it anyhow, right? To get back to this place. Yeah, so can I be through here, right? So, okay, there, uh, we do have a fire extinguisher. We have this illuminator core. I mean, where can we install these items then, presumably? Okay, there is back here some place, so there must be a separate room behind these, uh, the wall here, I guess. Functioning normally? Uh, well, the station doesn't seem to be functioning normally here, at least in my eyes, yes. Okay, so well, uh, there's another panel completely shorted out, but how do we get here? Yeah, this well, door things seem obvious. Yeah, how do we get back here? I can't open the door from here, the panel's shorted out. Yeah, there must have an override someplace, but it's not in Soren's, uh, maybe it is, I'm not quite sure, but it's supposedly you can rescue all the survivors before you meet Soren himself, and it obviously is not possible if we... Right, uh, if we don't rescue the survivor. Okay, uh, since we're now scanning for energy sources, we also can see that we have these containment uh, containers here, or, or one of which we have in our inventory right now. I don't think this is actually that useful, are they though? The field in here could safely contain almost anything. Yeah, uh, what though? What are we using this for? <laughs> so the game, uh, well, in games of this era, they usually aren't very obvious, right? Especially if they contain some puzzle elements. Okay, there are only three levels to the station, and how do we uh, unlock this, right? Okay, we uh, looked at the panel uh, on top here, maybe it uh, answers our question. Redirecting power, or whatever, could be. Well, we should probably check it out again, shouldn't we? Well, I didn't promise you uh, yeah, a complete uh, walkthrough here right away, right? Because well, reading the walkthrough would be pointless because it would spoil all the stuff, wouldn't it? Okay, what else is there on the station that would override this? Well, we looked at all the consoles down below and it didn't seem to offer any uh, substantial uh, progress there, right? And same for the fire extinguisher. Right, I don't think this actually work. Hmm. Well, apparently That's it doesn't work on plasma well. fires, coincidentally. Yeah, this thing here, right? We already interacted with one of those panels. Yeah, okay, the station is still shaking here, even though we did something. Uh, it's no help to me here. Yeah, okay, but here, you say, but if you put it in our inventory, I don't think it fixes a uh, computer console, does it, though? Most of this equipment is wrecked. Yeah, but why is it in the <laughs> locker then? Okay, it's a key card. Ah, key card maybe? A key card. I don't think it opens the door that is sorted out, right? Okay, this is junk, we can't use it. Yeah, we already interacted with this console and we fixed some problems. Maybe some other stuff we can do? Hmm. That didn't work very well. A dangerous materials container. Yeah, right. Okay, apparently we do need to do something here. Yeah, there is something damaged, right? Uh, a circuit or whatever. How can we repair this door? I don't think door? this is going to work. An illuminator core. 
a key card. Maybe they were talking about some junk we need to find and repair uh, whatever is damaged here. So what is actually representative of this is not the station wide, it's some sort of generator thingy, so it's the obviously the bypass. And back here we need to fix something, otherwise we cannot uh, open the door, I would presume so, how do we do this then? But we can turn off the tricorder for no reason, because that would do. Yeah, something is damaged in this general vicinity, but I'm not quite sure what is uh, representative of VD. So why we need some spare parts here after all, but how do we install them, VD? So we're redirecting power, I suppose. Okay, but I don't think it makes much of a difference, but we can try if it makes a difference down below, even though I doubt it to be the case. I think we have to come back here and redo this again. Yeah, keep a fire extinguisher, so uh, these are not very useful, then I suppose, for the uh, current house attend. And the party, these, uh, hmm. Most of this equipment. Yeah, it's wrecked, so okay, well, uh, something is damaged, I'm not quite sure what is their, yeah, what they have for representation there on the panel. I have no idea, VD. The game does not really do a very good job of expanding uh, things, of course. Uh, I don't think uh, the door is uh, your power town or whatever. We just bypassed some area. We have to bypass again, then presumably. I don't think these uh, guys have the uh, key to what we need to do here, I think. Well, as usual in these games, uh, you just uh, pick up old items, right? Okay, it's still. This door is locked. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this is Yeah, going to we work. need to get in here, but I think the power is still on, why, which why the... Yeah, how do we get in here, VD? Really? Well, if it takes so long, I can always do cut in a video, so I don't have to put too much pressure on myself, but really, that's a bit puzzling. I mean, we need the repair part some, uh, somewhere, I suppose, and we... Uh, was, yeah, okay, maybe it's actually representing this thing here, in which case the bottom section was uh, staged to be damaged. So, what do we do with that then? Hmm. That didn't work very well. Hmm. Now we don't shoot it, that, that seems like a stupid well. idea. <laughs> Okay, this is secret passage is also a plasma thing here. I don't think he will give us the answer, Everything to be honest. Be in order. Yeah, right, okay. So that's, by the way, the, um, the torpedo directed at the Amagosa Sun, so we want to do something about it, don't we? Okay, so what I suppose that we just deal with Soren, and Soren, incidentally, is invincible here in this particular uh, cutscene, so we have to take cover and then hope for the best, right? Returning to game. Yeah, we have about 10 seconds to figure out here completely alien uh, control here, as we saw upstairs, but this is a little bit more complicated. Okay, so we have to avoid this, uh, yeah, we have to avoid this, uh, this uh, arcing cable here, ideally, because, <laughs> okay, so, um, anything else in here? I don't think this room, um, yeah, has the key to success here, really, but maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, whatever that is, we cannot see it very well. Uh, right, so, okay, then we just uh, use this, the magnetizer here, whatever, because the keycard certainly isn't going to work. So far, so good. Actually, it is, really? This, what? Okay. Oh, hello there. Hello there, Soren. <laughs> you mind your own business, Commander. You made this our business, Doctor. Oh, I really hate this sequence. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh. The side back here, Andy Stan, you know? <laughs> I'd like a coward. Now, let's see. Where was I? Computer, initiate launch sequence. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot interfere with that, I think. <laughs> that is horrible already, right? Yeah, there we go. So we fade this incidentally. <laughs> What is actually supposed to happen is him beaming out to his uh, cloaked Rommel and Warbird, you know, but apparently he doesn't. Really? Why is it empty? Why is it empty? I just saved this cave. Why is it empty? <laughs> Acknowledged. Oh, right, there we go. So, well, apparently we cannot save during a mission and always it puts us back to the stellar cartography, which is a little bit unfortunate, really. All oh, right, I still haven't figured out how to open this area, but maybe we can finally persuade uh, Soren to stop blasting us and retreat back to his war. But yes, that would be great, because there's no way to hide. Uh, yeah, there really is no uh, place to hide here in this uh, hallway, really. So we have to uh, spam the phaser to for the best, then, I guess, maybe? A magnetic justifier. Yeah, that's what we have to think for, so of course. Far, so good. Oh, not really. <laughs> He's got a personal force field. I'll have to shoot my way through it. Ah, we fail to get immediately. Well, 
Well, so apparently we need to be in the room for our shots to actually register, otherwise it doesn't work. So we just set the phaser to fun here and hope that we can knock him out and also disable this computer system here. And apparently we also need to <laughs> crawl through some area here, some place to get to the other area there. Uh, but I have no idea really, because I didn't see anything crouchable or uh, traversable here. So it's a bit uh, sad really that you have to look up uh, walkthroughs for the very first mission in the game because it's uh, well, a little bit obnoxious, is it not? Okay, so eat uh. our uh, gourmet uh, cooking here and also top us off if we need to do this. Uh, did we need to do this because the uh. uh, Romulans still want us that, of course. Yeah, and all of this is not easy difficulty, right? Okay, so we need to storm the room, hide behind the uh, photon things hanging from the roof, I guess. And then we have to blast this guy uh, to deplete his personal shield. And then it only then will he actually uh, beam to his uh, wall, but I suppose. Okay, well, then we try this again because you can save the game instantly. <laughs> magnetic justice. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Very slowly. I have to hide back here, then. <laughs> oh, uh... Computer initiate launch sequence. Can you please finally get out of here? Yeah, there we go. Finally, does it? Okay, lovely. So time is ticking down. Get. Ah, no, we don't have time for this shit here. <laughs> okay, it's only a couple of seconds. Here, like ten seconds. I need to. Yeah, you yeah, know. Thank you. Some sort of missile launcher aimed directly at the Amargosa sun. See if you can disable or divert it, number one. I'll see what I can do. Riker out. Initializing targeting computer. Oh no, oh no, how does it work? How does it work? I need to select a different target, how does it work? It doesn't say anything back here. Yeah, but how? How do I redirect this fucking thing? Yeah, yeah, for that's it, there we go. Launch this thing, launch it, launch, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, let's hopefully do the trick, right? I just redirected it against the plant, I think. Oh, thankfully. Oh boy, yeah, so... <laughs> the planet, number one, but deep space would have been a better target. At any rate, there are still crewmen on the station. I'll yeah, do. okay, Break so finally we did it, man. Okay, so yeah, that's... Uh, you, you need to figure this out within 10 seconds. No? First what? try? That's not going to happen. I can already tell you, right? And we still have to rescue that uh, guy some place. Yeah, uh, okay, so... <laughs> so we managed to prevail after all. I only had to replay the mission like... Ten times, I suppose, right? And we still have to crouch through here someplace, but I really didn't see it, to be honest. Okay, so there's the uh, computer simulation when it comes to the Nexus, and how the destruction of the uh, sun would redirect this course. Displaying Nexus path. Yeah, that's why we're doing this incidentally, or uh, Mr. Soren is doing it. The Amagosa star is a main sequence F-type star with total luminosity 1,000 trillion terawatts. Oh, thanks for that computer. Okay, so there are a couple of errors we can now access, I suppose. Or maybe not. Is it an external airlock? It may be an external airlock because I don't see anything behind here. So, okay, then we still have that area to worry about when it comes to extracting the uh, missing guy. And I still didn't figure out uh, how we're supposed to use this uh, illumination core here. Whatever. Okay, what is that? Is it an airlock? It's too damaged to open. It's too damaged to open, apparently. Okay, the other one probably just as well. It's fused shut. Yeah, it's fused shut, really. So, okay, so we're back to scale one, essentially. So, uh, yeah, okay, so at least we managed to save the station, which should ensure that we can actually uh, proceed with the set piece for a second time later on in the campaign. Yeah, the perspective is really weird, right? But at least, okay, so um, these dangerous materials containers, they don't really do anything for us. And we still have to divert power, which I think I actually did already, did I not? So, okay, uh, there's something we need to crawl through. Uh, the workforce set some place, but I didn't see any hole to crawl through, so at least I guess. And, uh, it's really annoying, okay, so. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for setting me up this there, Commander. Okay, so, no well. Wasting time on this. Yeah, okay, the station isn't falling apart and all the Romulans have been stunned. So, okay, the crewman is over here someplace. We need to divert power, uh, but how do? We need to crawl through here someplace. I interact with all the consoles I can find, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this game is puzzling, to be honest. It's absolutely puzzling, Billy. And I don't understand why they can only put some little pointers here in the game, you know? Because back here there is no, uh, crawlable area, is that? <laughs> I mean, it's a bit tragic, Billy, to be honest. Okay, we need to get back here in some capacity. And I still have this illumination core here, whatever they called it. So, what are you going with that thing then? But I suppose I need to figure this out eventually, don't I? This door is locked. I will then get back to you once we find our way to the remaining crew right back here someplace and somehow uh, the emphasis is on somehow because well it needs to be connected otherwise how can we insert a core here spare port or whatever I don't see it really. <laughs> it's tragic, it's just tragic but then again I will get back to you in a second.
Willi, back here. This texture on the wall, that's the key. Willi? That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> this generic looking texture on the wall, you have to walk all the way up uh, to actually get the uh, auxiliary screen working. And that's the thing I missed here. It looks like any other wall damaged at the station here, Willi. Okay, that was the key apparently. So let's just head downstairs here and rescue our friend Sherbido. And that should hopefully conclude the mission. Willi, that's the, that's the key back here. This generic looking texture on the wall, Willi. Okay, well, no wonder I didn't find it then. Although I just stumbled upon it by accident because, well, I didn't read through the walkthrough very thoroughly, apparently. Yeah, I just want to see how I can deal with Sorin incidentally. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, Willi. Okay, that should uh, open up the area then uh, because we redirected power, didn't we? I should hope it works now. This door is locked. It's so fucking locked. <laughs> Well, we don't have any additional spare parts to be do, so, um, ah, of course, yeah, we need to go upstairs again and hit that panel, presumably, otherwise we cannot redirect power there, because, uh, remember the content that was damaged? Yeah, that probably would be the reason as to why this is still locked, presumably, because there's still arcing behind there, and the console is damaged, and there we go, yeah, so I think it's something we need to do, so back upstairs here, with the turbo lift, and back to the panel, I already interacted with, and we have to redirect power again, and hopefully this will be finally good enough, yes, because what else can we possibly do here on this tiny station with only three levels to work with? Right. Okay, so well, the clock is not ticking down as we're just sitting around here because the time is only uh, well advancing when we are in the stellar cartography and doing our various uh, tasks, right? Okay, so well, it depends was over here if I don't just remember entirely. Some place, yeah, this thing, right? Now we should be able to... No, it's too damaged, really? <laughs> ha! Evidently, this is important, right? There is that fucking thing back here! <laughs> really back here? How are you supposed to see this? Looks like any other vortex texture, really. Okay, so we finally found a way into these tunnels here, I suppose. And now we need to rescue that guy if it's still uh, allowable here, because our whole integrity is still failing despite me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so back here, right. Okay, so we see the uh, equipment, we see whatever that may be. It's no help to me here. Partly it's rubbish. Okay, so fantastic. Then we need to hopefully. Uh, there we go, so we dropped into this area, so finally did it, really? That's all it took? Like... <laughs> Everything looks okay here. Okay, whatever you say, the Riker. Okay, so we have more jackets here, times two. Wow, these are very uh, fashionable, I suppose. Okay, so there we go. So now we need to get to this guy, of course, and rescue him. And then what? We have also cut power to this panel here in some capacity, don't we? Uh, but how do you do this is beyond me. Is there anything here? Maybe this room? Maybe? I don't want to fail the mission because then again, uh, I was looking around for too long here, right? Okay, plenty of blood here. Even on the shelves, it's always very gnarly, is it not? Okay, anything back here of interest? There's a key card. I don't think we need this thing. Well, I suppose we can sprint for there, but then again, if we die, it's game over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, once again, flashlights, you know, anything would be good here. But of course, we don't have that. Oh, we need to get to this room here, right? Yep. Can I make it happen? Apparently. To cut power to that cable. Yeah, isn't there, right? Maybe with this panel you're first to interact no with. Useful information Apparently there's no useful information here. So what else is there? Some water. But okay, I suppose we... Uh, I mean, we, we drop this thing here because it doesn't have any juice any longer. We can get refilled incidentally. So, Willi... A glass of water. Yeah, I know it's a glass of water. So we get stuck back here, Willi. Okay, I don't need any jackets and we can't get out of here any longer. So how do we cut power to this thing? How do we cut power to this? Well, we can't open the door from the inside, can we, though? Locked. Of course it's locked, so it's the panel which is sorted out. Which we can interact I with then. The door from here. The yeah, of course. So, you can't see anything, by the way. So, maybe if we can discover... Okay, so there we can use F2 and F3 respectively, and these are uh, looking ugly, but at least they do work, right? Okay, so um, there isn't much room to work with here anyhow, is that toast? So how do we uh, disable this? I only see uh, plasma burns on the wall here and some rubbish. So, this is also rubbish, right? So rubbish and that I can pick it up here. Okay, there's just surveillance cameras playing again. What are we doing back here? <laughs> I don't need a key card for this. Because it doesn't work, frankly. And surveillance equipment also doesn't do anything for us. Okay, so and what's the problem here? I mean, seriously. Okay, is there a uh, fuse box on the wall or something like this? Maybe? Oh, really? That thing? So far, so good. That thing? The you know, I supposed to see this in the darkness? <laughs> how are you supposed to see this in the darkness? Like, seriously. No way. 
<laughs> this is the natural lighting of the game, by the way. And did you see this panel on the wall here? Sure, right? Okay, so now we have to disable this after all. Now we can get to our friend here someplace, I'm sure. Willi? Okay, there, hello there, friend. Romulan tactics. Shoot to kill. Even unarmed innocents. Well, did the poor job at that incident, didn't they? No, no, don't shoot. It's okay. I'm from Starfleet. I'm here to help. Yeah, after we look for this uh, panel here, because it's a power source, I think they're talking about this video. Okay, let's get Sick out of here. For emergency transport. Oh, let's head in some engineers to uh, fix the whole integrity of the station. Looks like the last of the survivors. Well done, number one. Transporters are standing by to beam you aboard. All right, so it was a cakewalk, wasn't it? It was a cakewalk. I think we can continue to explore here until we press the button. Okay, we so once again, um, this is the natural brightness rating, and you saw this panel on the wall here, right? It was. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea, really. I have no boats for this. But again, we finally managed to prevail here. So there's nothing else to do on the station, I believe. So let's just head out of the cell over here and also leave the junk behind, I guess. Why? And this is for investigation purposes, could be useful. And sorry for this integrating this one guy, but what else could we do here? Really, our uh, phaser rent right, of course. So. <laughs> I'm finished here. We are quite one finished here, up. yes. Like, seriously, man. How are you supposed to find this? You don't, is the answer, really? <laughs> okay, we saved the station. We saved the entire star system. Can be quite proud of ourselves, can we not? And the triumphant music, I guess. Have you completed your analysis of the Romulan tricorder we recovered? Yes, sir. Apparently, the Romulans were concerned that Soren might use their trilithium to create a deadly weapon. It seems that fear was quite justified. The logs also indicated they were unsure of the location of his planned launch site. Apparently, the weapon can be fired from a spacecraft or from the surface of a planet. Uh, it's a torpedo, yes, the modified Diamond one. had some intriguing information about Dr. Soren. She believes he is trying to return to the Nexus, a sort of paradise he and Guinan entered briefly while aboard the Lakul. According to our records, the Lakul was destroyed by an energy ribbon on the Enterprise B's maiden voyage. Captain James T. Kirk was killed during the rescue attempt. Apparently, that destructive energy ribbon is also the gateway to this nexus. Guinan believes Soren has developed his Trilithium Star Killer as a means to <laughs> return killer. to the nexus. Data, display the path of the energy ribbon. Aye, sir. Displaying the projected path of the nexus. Hmm, how does destroying solar systems help Soren reach the Nexus? Romulans arriving at Galorndon Core. That's great. Okay, now we need to figure out where we need to be uh, going next, of course. And we have no clues to go on except to bump into one of those uh, fleets, I guess. But, uh, hmm, interesting. But since we managed to preserve the Amagosa star system, uh, we also don't gain any additional clues right now. And if it were to blow up, which is probably pretty likely to happen on the first uh, playthrough, or the second one, or the third one, as you've seen, well, then they tell you to move to some other planet here where Zoran is doing his uh, dirty business. Uh, with the Romulans and with the Klingons, I think he's actually allied himself with a rather infamous pair of uh, female Klingon commanders, I believe. I think we'll be uh, meeting them at one stage. But in case you're wondering, the ultimate goal about the Nexus is to direct it uh, on the moon, or any sort of inhabited planet uh, because um, a starship I think it's more liable to get blown up before you can actually reach the Nexus which is why he keeps uh, blowing up the sun so twice too and of course our ultimate goal is to stop all these attempts and I think we can fail exactly once I believe but I'm not quite sure if it's only including the uh, star system we just uh, where it came from or in general uh, I don't remember for detail, but then again, hopefully the other missions there won't be nearly as obtrusive here, right? With a hidden timer in the background, but the storm will be everywhere, and <laughs> probably. Well, I think the uh, campaign is actually slightly more dynamic than I give it credit for, because, well, for what we managed to preserve the Amagosa star system, so there will be a second mission here, presumably, but only potentially, I believe. But for now, I think I'm quite done, so with that, I thank you for watching as usual, and I hope to see you next time.